Hey everyone, this is Aaron with DIY Home Repair. Today I'm going to show you how I quickly and securely installed this curtain rod here using just toggle bolts. So when replacing a curtain rod, the first thing I want to do is make sure that the new curtain rod is at the same height as any existing curtain rod in that room. Now the easiest way I've found to do this is to measure from the ceiling to the bottom of the bracket. In my opinion, it's just easier to measure to the bottom of the bracket than trying to measure to where the bracket angles and then adjust it on the wall. Now, of course, if you're using different size of bracket, um, you will need to add or subtract to the height based on the difference in the size of the brackets. Once I have my measurement, I can then transfer that to the location of the new curtain rod and mark the height. Now the other thing I want to do is I want to make sure that my brackets are equal distance from the window on both sides. Now to do this I'm going to measure out from the window on both sides and then take my level and set it plumb with the mark on the side of the window. Then I'll draw another line where the level crosses the line for my height and that will give me where the bottom and the center of my bracket need to be placed. Next, I'm going to take my bracket and place it where the two lines intersect. The horizontal line, of course, being for the bottom of the bracket and the perpendicular line being for the middle of the bracket. Then once I have my bracket in place, I can go ahead and mark the two screw holes and draw out the holes for the toggle bolts. Now, a couple quick things to note at this point. When getting toggle bolts, it's important to make sure that they will fit the screw holes in your brackets. And when drilling the holes for the toggle bolts, make sure you use the same size drill bit that's recommended on the bag or in the instructions. Next, I'm going to install my bracket. Now to do this, I will need to insert the screw into the bracket before I screw the wings on the toggle bolt. Now the one difference is in my case that the screw hole on the top of the bracket has a larger hole at the bottom of it that will actually slide over the top of the screw head on the toggle bolt. And then when I'm ready to tighten it down, all I have to do is slide the bracket down. I think this is pretty standard with most brackets. Once the bracket is in place, I can go ahead and tighten it down. Now to tighten the bracket down, you want to make sure you hold the bracket away from the wall and so that the wings actually catch on the back of the wall. Otherwise, the toggle bolt will actually just spin when you try to screw it down. Next, we're just going to take all our measurements and duplicate everything we just did on the other side of the window.
Alright, if you found this video helpful, make sure you like and subscribe, and make sure you turn on notifications so you get alerted as soon as the newest videos come out. And thanks again for watching.